I'll take you to New York right now, where a number of people have gathered in an anti-Trump kind of sentiment. Our Sarah Ganim is there. A number of these people had gathered, what, what near Columbus Circle, and then they were going to make their way to the uh, Trump Tower. But then now there's been a little bit of dust up here and there. What's going on? That was that was the plan originally. It was a peaceful pro Donald Trump. Hey guys, would walk um, from Columbus Circle to Trump Towers, but the problem has been, Fred, that it did not remain peaceful. There was some miscommunication originally about where they were going to go, NYPD trying to keep them in the street as they're supposed to be, and instead the crowds as you can Donald see, Trump. have been rushing uh, the police barricades, chanting to push through. There were some people who got pepper sprayed. There was a lapse here where it became peaceful again. They got back on track. But I talked to the organizers in that time. They said this was simply all a miscommunication. But shortly after that, just really seconds after that, Fred, uh, the protesters began to rush the police at barricades again, in some cases moving the barricades. NYPD obviously unhappy. We did see at least one person being arrested. And now it appears uh, that's happening again. If you take a look, there are uh, a couple of people in the street. Some people even throwing projectiles at the NYPD, and there are arrests being made here, Fred. Hmm. So that I'm trying movement, to get a good look yeah, at what's so, going so, on at the moment. Right, you're doing a great job, there. So I'm wondering that movement, people, when, when they were kind of moving in mass, you moving along with them, was that because of, uh, or you describe, what was that because of? You know, Fred, it's, it, it's hard to tell immediately exactly what caused that. But the problem consistently during this protest has been that the protesters want to get into the streets and the NYPD want them to stay on the sidewalk. They don't want them um, in the streets disturbing traffic. They want them on the sidewalks protesting peacefully. That's what's supposed to happen when you're in the middle of a protest, and that's not what's been happening here. Like I said, we did see several people um, get uh, pepper sprayed. We saw some people running from police using pepper spray. I saw some people moving police barricades, uh, rearranging them at some point, and then you saw at times people just start running, rushing the police barricades into the street, and that's what's causing these problems, and it seems to be what's been causing these arrests.